Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us for our Achievement Night at Lakeland. This evening, I'm going to be showing you how to access your middle school students' iReady resource. For each of their students, they will have a Clever platform, which they use in school on a daily basis, called Clever.com. Here, students can log in with their student ID number and password to be able to access different resources that they use throughout the school day. Today, we're going to be focusing on iReady. You'll see the emblem as a favorited resource for your student, and it'll have this square box. We're gonna go ahead and click iReady. And through this platform, the students will already be logged into their account. When your student logs into iReady, they will have access to reading lessons as well as math lessons. When you click inside to the reading lessons, you will be able to see a My Path section. In the My Path section, these are lessons that have been assigned to your student based off of how they performed on their beginning of the year iReady diagnostic assessment. You'll also notice that at the bottom of the screen, there are several op options that can help support you in understanding how your student is performing. You'll see My Progress and My Stuff. When you click My Progress, you'll be able to see how many minutes the student has spent on iReady over the week. You'll also be able to see how many lessons they have passed this school year and how many lessons they have passed in a row. This is a great way to track how your student has been working. You can also see their diagnostic score for their overall level here. In the final column, you'll see My Stuff. Here, the students have an opportunity to personalize their accounts with themes, as well as use their credits that they earn from their lessons to play games. You will notice that I'm currently in the reading section. You also have this opportunity in the math section. You may notice that in this math section, there has been a teacher assigned lesson. This will show up when a teacher has assigned a specific lesson to your student that they would like them to grapple with to help support them in their academic progress this school year. You'll notice again on the bottom, there is my progress, my stuff, and learning games. In the My Progress, the same as before, you'll see the number of minutes on task, number of lessons passed, as well as how many passed through in a streak. For My Stuff, they can personalize again. And then lastly, in the Learning Games, this gives them the opportunity for something to do for fun that they have been exposed to through their learning process. Finally, in the iReady platform, you will note that there is an area that is called Family Center. When you click on Family Center, this will give you opportunity to uh, grapple with some resources to better understand. You will see this family guide, which you should have received from your student um, this evening or this afternoon on how to use iReady and what iReady is. It'll also provide you with understanding their diagnostic and their results in their diagnostics. And lastly, it gives you some at-home tools to better support, like a data tracker or what iReady lessons at home look like. This is a great way to help you have a better understanding of iReady if you still don't know the platform or understand it greatly. Again, this is a really great way for you to be engaged in how your students are using their independent learning and their personalized learning times.